Uh, there are going to be two presentations today. One is a more introductory one. Can you see the slides? Okay, perfect. And uh, uh, this is more about the structure of the course and how it's going to how it is going to be um, uh, uh, handled and the elements. Uh, and there will be another presentation, which is an, an introduction to the topic. Um, so the learning objective, first of all, this is what uh, are the expected outcomes of um, um, this lecture. Uh, so it's knowledge and application of best practices thought during the development of IT-based system for secure software. So this is a general uh, theme that you should be able to know best practices for secure software development. Um, but also to integrate these best practices into the development processes and to assure uh, that um, actually specific activities are mandatorily um, placed into the secure software in the, sec in the software development to produce secure software. More concretely, um, there the, to the following activities uh, will be carried out, and I hope that you will uh, reflect and also take them as, as your own competencies. Uh, we will discuss acceptance criteria for non-functional security requirements. So um, most security requirements for software are non-functional, they are not functional. Uh, this uh, poses a certain level of complexity, and we will try and to deal with that. Um, we will be carrying out threat models, so executing threat modeling is one of the important activities. The avoidance of weak points during the development, so when you actually code uh, software, what are elements to look at. Most developers, software engineers think that this is the major activity uh, to um, take into account, but to my experience, this is also a very, oh, this is only a very small part to deal with. Carrying out security tests, so how to test software for security, how to securely install and start the operation of software, so a large portion of risks actually comes from that phase where Developers think the work is done, but still there's a, uh, there are a large number of risks uh, in that phase to corrupt uh, software or to add um, malicious code at that point in time. And finally, uh, to establish a security response program, uh, which is uh, the activity which describes the activity once software is in the field and how to handle security vulnerabilities, security issues that have been identified for software that is all already running with customers. We will also carry out some security analysis, so do some hacking, uh, and I will um, also uh, request you to be able to present uh, security uh, vulnerabilities that you identified or that you explained uh, in due course. Um, so the content uh, will be uh, <clears throat> introduction, motivation of hackers, that's going to what we do today. Then there will be a homework uh, on your side on how to exploit vulnerabilities, what other major vulnerability types uh, to uh, consider. Um, and from there we will um, start um, explaining, working on the topic uh, on the topics that are necessary to secure the software against vulnerabilities. And again, we see here the activities along the uh, standard software uh, development lifecycle activities, requirements, uh, threat modeling is part of the arch architecture design phase, secure coding, secure testing, secure deployment and security response. What are the prerequisites of that course? You should have some first experience in software development, so you should be able to code. Uh, you should know standard software quality assurance practices, like uh, describing secure, uh, software requirements, um, like test, uh, performing testing. You should be able to develop a simple web application, because this is going to be part of the assignment. 
uh, and you should be able to present results of your own work according to a prescribed template um, that will be uh, the last in the last phase of the of the module. Here's the structure of the module. This is probably most interesting for you at this point in time. Uh, we will start with the online session today. Uh, until this is uh, your time, nine to eleven. Um, then there will be a two-week uh, period where you should, are expected to do some homework. I will explain later after the initial presentation what this homework exactly uh, consists of. Part three will be in the morning of the 17th of April uh, on site at uh, UIT, um, namely the presentation of the results of the homework. This is an assignment, so the grading will be part of uh, the overall, uh, overall grading for the module. Um, this is followed by uh, the afternoon session where we will have some hacking experience and uh, you will be expected to hack an application and to, and to document and to also describe um, uh, how and what you did find. Um, and I will provide some uh, some templates for uh, for the description. Uh, in the uh, following day, the 18th of April, there will be uh, lectures from my side. So we, we I will have a whole, we will have a whole day on uh, on the theory of on secure software development. And this is followed by the last part, part number six, where you will do some homework. Uh, on uh, inc including uh, developing a simple web application and all the different practices uh, that you learn sh shall be applied um, in that in that phase. Uh, for the homework sessions, uh, the, I will be available online. So if you have any questions or if you have uh, things to discuss uh, that you where you know, you're not you're not sure whether you did understand it right, um, in that case. Uh, I will be um, available through email and through SharePoint. I will explain later uh, where the link is uh, to get that done. The overview of the assignments. Assignment 1 is uh, research and prepare presentation on vulnerability types. Um, um, I will explain this after the initial presentation in more detail. This shall be uh, worked out in groups of two people. Actually, um, I got the information uh, from Mr. Etaba, uh, that uh, or Etaba, I don't know how to. Uh, thank you. Uh, how large the group of students actually is going to be? So um, he said twenty. So uh, since uh, there will be ten vulnerability types to be discussed, we need to spread uh, the students over these ten types. Um, and if there's, uh, if 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 there are ten, then it fits well. If it's twenty, it fits well as well. Then groups will be of two. Uh, and if we have any number in between, then we need to, uh, to adjust uh, group number. So there will be vulnerability types with one and other with two people. And the second assignment, as I mentioned already, is the development of a small web application, including security documentation. And this uh, shall be then in groups of four to five people. So again, this depends on the overall uh, uh, number of students. Um, we will see. We will see how many people actually uh, will be on site, and then we will uh, make the grouping uh, um, on site um, in uh, mid of April. Today's session. Um, so um, this introduction. We had some technical problems. So this is uh, this is the uh, the reason why we're a little bit late. Uh, I think I will need approximately one hour for the introductory lecture. Um, and uh, then we will um, do the group setup and the explanation of assignment one. Um, and then we will still have time for some Q&A. This session is recorded for your convenience. Uh, we will provide links um, uh, to the material. And for privacy reasons, only the speaker is recorded. So the, the, the technology is in such a way that we cannot hear you. So if you have any questions, then please um, um, interrupt me uh, and I will try and repeat your question and give the answer uh, co uh, correspondingly. And um, if, if, if it works well, we will try and record the other lectures uh, on site uh, in, um, uh, in uh, Tunis as well.
Okay, so here's, uh, can you see the slides again? Okay, so research uh, one OWASP top 10 vulnerability type. So uh, let me just quickly, that's why I'm uh, opening this here. So if you search for OWASP.org, OWASP top 10, like written here, OWASP top 10, um, this gives you uh, um, an overview of the most critical web application security risks. Okay, picture taken. Uh, and this is really excellent. Uh, this is uh, a primary source of information. Here is an overview uh, of the ten, uh, the ten ones, A one. And this is brand new. It says 2017, but they just published the 2017 version a couple of weeks ago. So this is really very actual. Um, so this is the source that you can look at and if you look at this document you will find uh, corresponding information, read the document and so on. You, you, I would urge you to search also other sources but this is a very good place to start. Um, and the topic is to research one of the OWASP top 10 vulnerability types, so one of the 10. Develop a small example to show how it works. So it's a very, very, not really web application, but only s some functionality that demonstrates uh, the vulnerability. Show how the vulnerability can be used, can be, can be uh, exploited by the attacker. Explain how to fix the vulnerability, respectively what needs to be done to prevent it. And then show the effect of this fixing or the preventive activities in your example. So basically, uh, let's say SQL injection, you act, you have a, a you set up a database uh, with a very, with just uh, with a web page with just one entry element. Um, uh, you show that you can access the database and the, the output is your whole database, for example. Uh, and then you show the coding. You explain why this is a problem. You change the coding on the website, uh, and then uh, you show that the attack doesn't work anymore. The idea should be to present your research and example on the 17th in class, using PowerPoint for the for the content and a live demo of your example. Yeah, PHP. Um, Python is fine, yeah. JavaScript, Node.js, yeah, Angular maybe. I don't know if you need Angular. Maybe this is even uh, maybe too high, too 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 high of a workload. Anyway, um, t and the presentation would be per type approximately fifteen minutes. Yeah, for each group, for each vulnerability type. Grading criteria would be correctness of the information presented, obviously the completeness of the information presented, uh, and uh, the understandability, quality of presentation, and so on. So three grading criteria. And so there are ten groups, one or two students, I guess. And here is the link to the group selection. So the you can you can immediately answer this. Actually, it's important that every top 10 is presented. So I would rather uh, go for 10 groups where some groups uh, are, have two, um, two participants and others have only one. And we can, we, can, we can do it in such a way that the groups of two take care of the more difficult uh, topics. So the more difficult topics in my view are, so if you're 12, uh, the more difficult topics would be a um, the um, Java the deserialization issues. This is I think six or seven, um, and uh, uh, injection injection deserialization. This should be two people. The others could be one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can you can start the group selection right now. Uh, so here is the. Um, uh, the QR code that you can see, it links directly to um, 
uh, to the group selection application in SharePoint. And last slide then from my side is there is a, a SharePoint site at UIT where all the information, it's a public course so everybody can access it or should be able to access it and uh, you will find all information there. And I would recommend if you have any questions in the meantime uh, to send me uh, to send me um, an email or uh, uh, start a collaboration discussion that what I think is even better in that SharePoint. So there's a collaboration space where you can start uh, uh, writing uh, and since uh, since this is seen by everyone in the course, everybody could actually also see what we what we're discussing. And I'll show you short quickly. So, so this is the site. I think you will have it in French or maybe even in Arabic. Uh, I have it in German, but it's uh, that's the way it looks like. And there are the two the two presentations that I shown today. They are available here.